It's a day football fans, coaches, and players wait for every year. National Signing Day is finally here, and after a 9-3 season, along with a Mineral Water Bowl victory, the BSU football team was looking to add for the future. This is like Christmas for us, baby. Like Christmas it was indeed. Today, the BSU football team officially welcomed 27 new players to their team. This is an exciting day, uh, and I think overall with the class, we're pretty excited. Like I, like I mentioned, I think you're always going to be excited when you add uh, as many people as we, we've added back to the program. With three seniors graduating this year, one area of need the Beavers felt they needed to address was their offensive line. And while they don't expect this group to make an impact immediately, they say the added depth is much needed. When you talk about offensive linemen, you don't necessarily talk about athletes, but there's some really gifted athletes in that group. So that group overall was... I don't know if that's the headliner of the group, but I'd say it's one of the better recruiting groups that we've had on the off offensive line for a while. Another area of need included the running back position. BSU added four athletes with this year's class and are very high on the entire group. Uh, a couple of our running backs, I think probably most of them you'll see are a little bit on the smaller side, you know, 5'8", five, 5'9", five, guys that have some twitch. The kid we're really excited about is Jalen Fry. He's from Matamidi. We haven't had a lot of kids from Matamidi up uh, over the years, but he should be able to come in and compete. I don't know if he'd play as an underclassman, but he's certainly not going to close the door on him. Roche Gray's joining us from my task at Community College, rooms was only down from uh, Tennessee area. He should be able to provide us some depth, hopefully be able to take over a larger role uh, as he gets on board. They hit what they call their quote, own backyard especially, securing 21 commitments from players in Minnesota and Wisconsin. You have to start with Minnesota guys, and I look at our roster, you know, 70, 80% of our guys should be from what we classify as local from. Minnesota, Wisconsin, and North, North Dakota kids. That included park quarterback Brandon Alt, who led the state of Minnesota in passing yards with 2,021, passing yards per game at a 252 per game clip, and finished tied for fourth in the state with 22 passing touchdowns. Brandon was a big one. He was uh, a kid that we targeted early in the process, and anytime you have somebody that gifted uh, in your program, uh, and you got to have a guy in our offense that can pull the trigger and run and, and throw the ball. So he can certainly do that, and we expect big things for him. And while they expect their returning players to contribute the most this season, BSU is excited about where they believe this class can take them. We think we hit a lot of our needs with quality young men and, 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 and players that can help take us to the next step. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.